hello everyone welcome to my channel so today we'll be discussing any another important topic how to install grafana and the installation of grafana is pretty easy but installing grafana and making it secure over public via dns is something which have been requested by so many uh, my folks uh, my friends and colleagues so let me take that topic today if you have not really explored the grafana playlist please check it out and it may uh, have your uh, you know other concepts like installing and configuring uh, dashboard alert and so on so yeah let's get started about this topic today if you have not liked and subscribe the channel please do that and let's quickly uh, start it right away so what we'll be doing in today's topic first of all we'll be installing grafana onto a uh, ubuntu box i have taken one of the instance from me ws we'll be installing grafana over there and then uh, i have another uh, public dns available that you can purchase from anywhere uh, from any official website and then we'll link that ec2 instance to this uh, you know dns with a a record and then uh, we will um, uh, you know create a certificate using let's encrypt the free certificate creation uh, you know agency and then we'll configure the grafana with that certificate via dns so that my grafana is publicly available on my you know uh, internet right so let's get started so i've already created a get a page for this you can simply come here and then see this readme grafana on dns and everything is being referenced from the official grafana documentation uh, you know website so there's nothing to worry about in case of any detail queries you can simply go to this location and can simply check out the updates like okay let's get started first of all uh, we'll install uh, uh, the, the grafana onto our server and then we'll tag along okay so before installing grafana uh, we should have a, a one of the instance up and running so i have a ec2 instance already up and running for me so you can see this is running i'll be connecting to ec2 instances uh, to, to this instance using mobile xterm i've already connected it so yeah this is the instance i'm talking about now the public ip of this instance is uh, this this is this is the public ip i have already have a, a dns available for me i'll just create a route for that dns okay so i'll go to this route 53 so how to create a dns you can simply uh, you know get the documentation for if you're taking it from aws or from any other provider you can see so this is my dns which is already tagged to my uh, you know account and on the, in this dns i'll just create a record i already have a record so i'll just edit this record and then uh, give this new ip 54204 this is a public ip so whenever if anyone is hitting this uh, you know dns and this uh, this record basically if i talk about let me just expand this i'm talking about this this record if anyone is hitting this record it will should redirect directly to to this ip so that is what is the intent and we'll be installing everything everything onto this machine i think that is pretty clear let's first of all install things uh, on this machine so i'll install the prerequisite package onto this machine okay and and then i'll do the import of the key all these are fairly straightforward and uh, grafana installation is not an easy and that is not a difficult task especially onto the uh, binary mode installation so today we are not talking about docker based installation not kubernetes based installation today we are talking about a pure vanilla installation of grafana i'll just update the packages with this okay and then i'll install the grafana after once we update the package so yeah so it is taking some time to update the package like first of all let me uh the ec2 instance let me have open the ports of uh, grafana port so i'll go to the security uh i'll just go to the inbound rules so that my 3000 port which is actually the grafana port is is already open so that i can uh, get it communicated over internet this is the uh, grafana port i'm adding another 80 port this is for creating 
you know let's encrypt a certificate so these two ports are needed this is for grafana this is for let's encrypt uh, in a certificate creation process so now i've enabled uh, both these ports onto my running instance which is this one okay now coming back to my pc2 instance yeah so updates are done i'll just install grafana now you can ignore certain signature related issues it won't take much time and let's see so once this installation is done then we'll you know reload the grafana and start the services find it it's creating a new user called grafana right so let's see we'll do a system ctl daemon reload just to reload the services i start the grafana server we'll see whether the grafana is successfully running or not i can see it is active and running so let's quickly see it over uh, in a url how to check it over url i know the public ip for this i'll come here i'll just do this i've already opened 3000 port publicly so it should open my grafana on a not secure it is unsecure as of now so you can see it is actually uh, on unsecure thing the admin admin is the password and i'll just change the okay fine so this is not secure so my first hurdle is done i have already installed grafana and i have i have to secure this grafana via certificate and link it to a dns so that it can be accessed via dns so i have already created a record for this ip under my dns route if you have seen it or uh, we are using a a record so you can see the same ip here i have already created a a record for this now i'll come on to the my next step next step is already open this inbound ports i'll uh, i'll install my let's encrypt and create a certificate for this dns so i'll install it till here okay and then we'll create a certificate i'll tell you how to create certificate using let's encrypt so this is installing the relevant softwares like snapd and cert port is the certificate creation in a binary that will help you to create certificate and automatically it will manage things you know on behalf of your it will it will do automatic renewal also right now let's create the important aspects of it let's create a certificate now this will ask you few things you need to enter the email address so that it can verify a few things if needed so i'll just entering my email uh, i'll just accept the terms and conditions would you be willing uh, once the certificate successfully issued no i don't need to get notification uh, domain now this is the domain that you want to create certificate so here i am using uh, this domain let me copy this domain so that certificate should get created for this okay it will actually check this thing and then if it successfully find that it is correct uh, you know uh, route then it will create a certificate for you so yeah so let me copy these two certificate that we need to change it to grafana ini okay so i have the key file and the cert file <clears throat> now i'll come to my documentation again i'll run this piece so that i can link this file to the etc grafana location okay not like this i need to change this location also so i'll come here fine so i need to change the subdomain to this this is the path so this is the full chain full chain is actually certificate and private key is your key to access so i am not doing anything uh, significant i am just creating a uh, link to my key to certificate from the let's encrypt location to this grafana location okay i'll go to this etc grafana so that you can see where my files are created you see these two key and certificates are there 
and this is the uh, you know dns i uh, was talking about now let's go back to my documentation again these are certain command that i need to run to make sure that permissions are properly granted i'll run these commands fine now this is one one very very important thing you need to make sure that you are giving a ch mode <coughs> 644 to these two files otherwise you'll get a permission denied error into your uh, grafana logs okay fine this is done and then i'll just quickly check at last the permissions are like this perfect perfect now the flaws in the final step i need to configure uh, the dns and the certificate in my grafana ini file so i'm already into this location if see and this is my grafana ini i'll just do a uh, sudo you can see this is my location cd etc grafana i'll do sudo vim or grafana dot ini okay now i'll come on to the server section actually this is section server section so i need to uncomment this protocol is https you can just read this six or seven lines protocol is https okay uncomment this line the port number is 3000 now domain is something that you need to give the the proper domain the actual domain so here my the actual domain is this is my domain okay and uh, there will be a root url also and force domain should be false now root url should be the actual url which you want to hit and make sure that it is open so i'll just type https subdomain is my gf dot and then 3000 right so and finally the the cert key and the cert file So, third file should be your dot third. It is here, Grafana. Grafana dot crt. Grafana dot key. Fine. So let's quickly verify things. So I've already enabled protocol HTTPS, cert key, cert file, root URL. Okay. I think I think then we are sorted. Key, CRT. Fine. Let me save this and then come out of it. Okay. Saved. Let me restart my Grafana. Let me if it is coming up properly or not. I'll check the status. Okay, perfect. It is running. Let me see the logs. Is there any problem or errors? No. There no errors. Good. So now I need to open the same thing again, but now with the help of uh, this should actually fail, right? This is now failing because we have changed the route. So I'll do this HTTPS gf dot. Right now this is a secure location. You can see. This is a connection is secure, and you can see the, uh, the certificate is also valid, right? Certificate is valid, and valid certificate is coming from this let's encrypt organization. See, it is going to expire uh, uh, April first, twenty twenty-four, and it will automatically will renew within ninety days. Right. So let me just log in. Password is password because I change a password to. So that is pretty much. I want to just show how to do this securing onto a public URL. Now you can open this URL from anywhere, from your mobile or from anywhere. You can just you know, uh, this is a secure connection, and then you can 
open it from anywhere right so let me just quickly open a private browser also and then you will be able to see it from private browser right and it's secured so I mean the story uh, about this so I'm able to log in so let me quickly review what we have done uh, we have actually installed Grafana installed uh, uh, let's encrypt software onto that machine and then uh, routed uh, this IP address uh, via DNS by creating a, a record uh, which can be done uh, from any provider whichever provider you're using for creating DNS okay and then uh, creating certificate and then linking your DNS and certificate with the URL so let me check show you one more thing since we are discussing so you can check what up your DNS website I think yeah what's my DNS check so my DNS is gf dot page dot grafana dot com so I can just simply check my DNS whether it is reachable from everywhere so you can see it is reachable from every and every location see everywhere you see green it should come green from every location right. see now it is coming from green from every location this is the public IP which I've already tagged so it can be see 54204727702 so, so now this site can be accessible from any part of the country this is how you validate your uh, you know final public URL Right. I hope it was helpful uh, uh, to understand how to install Grafana and make it publicly available. And I've not done something uh, you know pretty specific, pretty rocket science. Everything is available with the help of this reference documentation. Just do quick have a look at it, and everything is being concise into a single page document for you for your understanding and quick demo purpose. For now, I'll just stop this video. If you have liked it, subscribe this session please again you know hit the subscribe button on the right hand side and do watch out for next set of videos on grafana kubernetes and open telemetry and so on bye for now good night